Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So now I have a splitting headache and the headache was brought upon by the generator. So if you recall, um, a few days ago I purchased a generator and the reason I bought the generator was because I wanted to see if we were able to accomplish with the Solar X something we're not able to do with the, the air inverters. So some history, when we install uh, systems for clients, uh, with, when we install the air inverters for clients, the generators, the uh, gasoline small generators do not work. So we figured that um, we'll try and see if the same applies to the Solar X inverter. So this morning, believe it or not, power went out at about 5.36 a.m. There was no power. But good thing is I bought gasoline the night before, so I got up in the morning and I'll show you, I'll add the video um, where I was splashing gasoline into the, into the tank, into the, where I poured gasoline, how I had to clean it, you know, the little messy parts I hate. This is why I hate generators. I've poured all this, I'm trying to put gas in and I'm sure I poured gas all over the place, even though I used the funnel. So now I'm going to pour water to rid myself of all the gas and make sure I don't have an explosion in the fire. The mess, I just don't like it and I, it's the reason why I never bought a generator but I don't have power right now and I'll go show you in a sec. So the lights went out and I put the generator on and guess what? It's bypassed and it is charging the battery. Isn't that amazing? So it went into bypass and now it's charging the battery. So it says EPS waiting, we're waiting for that. Um, the mid box has done the automatic transfer. Let me see what let me see, see what I'm seeing. Battery. Oh, it's not it's only six amps going to the battery. That's interesting. It's not charging the batteries. It's bypassing, but it's not charging the batteries. 142, 145. So let me check and see if the inverter breaker is on. Very interesting. So we're running directly on generator, as you can see. There is no output. This is our upgrade breaker. There is no output. It did the automatic transfer inside here. But we're not seeing anything going to the battery. So let me figure out what's going on. And I'll get back to you. But the main box is doing its job where it's doing the transfer. The only thing that's not happening right now is that it's not charging the batteries. So now you know why I don't want to generate it. You hear the noise. It's very noisy. It's behind a wall and yet you can hear it. you can hear the noise right into the house. So it's not charging the battery. Just like we experienced with the air and the other inverters. Our battery right now is at 10% and EPS waiting. When you look on the app, you see what you see what's coming in as if it's coming from the grid, but nothing is actually happening. So let's see if we can look at system status. On grid. So 218 volts is what's coming from our generator and no amps, so it's not charging our batteries. Frequency is 52.54. That could be a problem. So let me see if I could adjust that. Or if we put more load on it, it will make a difference. I'm cooking right now, so, so that's part of what the problem is right now. So I see. Nothing from EPS side. Um, 1,638 watts we're seeing from uh, Gen. But for whatever reason, it's not coming into our inverter. So let me communicate this information to the folks at Solar X and see if adjusting the frequency will make a difference. Well, one other thing that I want to bring to attention also is this. So it says the MPPT starts at 70, right? 
So there it is, 70 volt, 70.6 volts, right? Nothing happens for the next half hour and then boom, it just explodes. So you're seeing 70.6 volts and 28 watts is what the production is. And that's where it's going to remain for a while and then it suddenly wakes up and it goes completely bonkers. So I'll keep updating you as the day progresses to see how this gets resolved, if it gets, if it gets resolved. So we started the generator. So after we you know, put gas in it, started the generator. The generator came on. The maid box did the transfer because the inverter had gone off due to the uh, state of charge of the battery. The battery state of charge was about 9 or 10%. 10, 10 so the inverter went off to save um, the battery from discharging even more. And then the BMS on the battery also went off. So what we had was the inverter was off. And when we started the system, the mid box uh, did a bypass. It woke up the inverter, but guess what? Nothing was happening. So this was driving me nuts. We, it wasn't charging, it went into EPS waiting mode. And what it does is, um, so I sent a message to my, the tech team at SolarX, telling them, look guys, oh, um, we've got the generator, we started it, and it's not doing anything. So they said, we'll check, they checked, and my firmware version was outdated. So they're telling me the firmware number was too old, I needed the new version, and the new version, um, well, I'll tell you. So um, they couldn't do the firmware up. They couldn't do the firmware upgrade remotely because the inverter was in um, not operating mode. It just was there, but it wasn't doing anything. They said if they tried, it would fail. So guess what? I had them send it to me. I put it on a flash on a thumb drive, stuck it into the inverter, and did the firmware update. Once I did that, it opened up additional menus, and one of the additional menus was um, to enable a generator, and then um, and then I could set the amount of charge in watts that I wanted the generator to put into the inverter. Simple, right? So we did that, and guess what? Nothing happened. Then they told me to change the settings as to when it starts charging and when it starts discharging. I did that, nothing happened. So we waited until the sun came up enough, and once the sun came up enough, the batteries uh, got to 30, 30, 31%, and at that point we could run off um, solar. The inverter woke up and we turned the generator off. So we had a training session with SolarX, went over a bunch of things, discussed some of the settings, and guess what? It still wasn't coming on. So at about two, we turned it on again, um, same thing. It, it would do the bypass, you know, the relays in there will switch, the automatic transfer switch will see it, but it wasn't charging our batteries. And it was doing some form of load shaving, which made no sense. So I'm like, Christopher, you're not going to quit. You're not going to give up. So I spent, I lay down and this evening at about five, a little after 5 p.m., I started fiddling with the settings and I, I'm not even sure what I did. And then I fiddled with the settings. I reduced the charge. I'm going to increase it again because I reduced it to 1,500. I changed the time. I also changed the time which it took it to qualify. So instead of it taking uh, 60 seconds to connect and 60 seconds to check, I changed it to 120 seconds. And guess what? It started charging. Now my charge starts at, stops at 98%. Oh, I changed the charge parameters where you start. I guess I changed the charge parameters from it starting at um, a lower number to it starting at 100%. And guess what? It started charging. Uh, next thing I know, the battery is full and it stops charging. I'm like, yay, finally I got it. So, guess what, folks? By the way, if you've not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I'm 14 away from 3,000, so you guys have been fantastic. So, the Solar X is able to charge with a standard gasoline generator. 
which is something we're not able to do with the DA inverter. So in that regard, the Solar X has one up on the DA inverter. Now we are also considering seeing if we could do transformers for clients who have the inverter to see if that will resolve that issue. But right now we are able to charge using a generator our batteries on our solar X inverter. So now I can run my AC at whatever I want to run it at. If it comes down, come back, crank up the generator for an hour or 30 minutes and I am set. So once again, this is Dr. Solar coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. And today was a very good day for me. Thank you very much.